MashaAllah, MashaAllah, JazakAllah. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has granted us very special Mahfim, Faizan, Anwar, and uh, beautiful praise of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And as uh, Muhammad Al Hadi Sahab wanted to dedicate his time to the Nats, but there is a very strong insistence that Hazrat has to uh, address the Mahfim. Uh, even if it is just for a few minutes, uh, uh, the full uh, sharif is at 10 to 10 in the Hadi Sharif, so Hazrat can handle it from there onwards and do the full sharif after the Salah Islam and Niyaz, inshaAllah ta'ala. Hazrat Abdul Fadda. Isra, Yani Isra, Isra. Hukum to me, Isra. Isra. Do you know what is happening behind the curtain? 
And let me explain to you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the universe. <coughs> he, create, he created the human race, the, the human being. The chart of creation is that <coughs> he created the human, two types of human. The perfect and the imperfect. What is very, very perfect? Learn something tonight. I want to explain to you how does the kingdom of Allah operate. The perfect and the imperfect human. Now the perfect human is further divided into two groups. One is the perfect independent and the other is the perfect Dependent. Listen very carefully and remember this. Human, perfect, imperfect. We're not going to deal with imperfect. Time is of criteria. The perfect human divided two groups is the independent, perfect, independent, and the perfect dependent. Now when you come to the perfect independent, Allah only created one. In the entire universe, Allah created one. Second to none. Beyond the comprehension of the human mind, the most unique, the most beautiful and the most powerful whose name is Sayyiduna Muhammad. He is, he is the perfect independent, dependent on no one besides Allah. Okay, there's many proofs to that. We will not deal with that. We come back now to the perfect dependent human is now that also goes into two groups. The perfect dependent two groups, group number one, are known as the prophets of Allah. They are known as the prophets of Allah and the other group is known as perfect, dependent, non-prophet. Okay? Got that group. Now the prophet group is now divided into further two groups. The one group is known as a Rasul and the other group is known as a Nabi. Every Nabi, every Rasul is a Nabi, but every Nabi is not a Rasul. We'll stop at the Nabi. We go further that the Rasul is further divided into two groups. One is known as the Ulul Azm, the exalted messengers, and the other is known as the non-exalted Rasul or Messenger. Come back this way now. <coughs> Hope you didn't forget this. Very little time. Come back this way. The perfect, dependent, non-prophet is further divided into two groups. I'm giving you, I'm giving you the spiritual kingdom of Allah. Take note of it. The, 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 the perfect, dependent, non-profit, two groups. One is known as the statesman and the other is known as the non-statesman. The statesman group is further divided into five groups. 
One is known as the horse. The other is known as the kutub. One group is known as the abdal. The other group is known as the autar. And the other is known as the imame. He said the statesmen who are in charge of the administration of the kingdom of Allah. The non-statesmen, the non-statesmen are divided into further four groups. Four groups. What is known as the Mahbubi? One, the second is known as the Muhibbi, and the third is known as the Majazib, the Mazub, and the foot is known as the Afra. When the spiritual assembly sits, it's not like the dunya that sits once a while. The spiritual assembly of the kingdom of Allah sits every week on a Monday night. Monday night. But where's the parliament house? Bahari <coughs> Hira. The radiation of these personalities is such because I've met one of them. I've spent many, many hours with them. When these group, the administrators sit in the parliament, the spiritual parliament of the kingdom of Allah, if they have to sit here, this walls of the masjid will extend to as far as the vision is. But the parliament consists of seven safs. Of the seven safs, four safs are of the male, three safs are of the female. Awliya Allah. The speaker of the parliament or the chief whip is called the Qutbul Aqtar. Who's he? Qutbul Aqtar. The one who presides in this uh, parliament is known as the host. They sit in a semicircular posture. The line, the four lines of the men, the four line of the men, who are they? Who they consist of? Is the five personalities that I mentioned who are statesmen of the spiritual kingdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are the autad, the imamain, the autad, and the abdad. And of course the host, who is presiding. Sometimes the host does not preside. Sometimes, personally, Sayyidina Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is present and he presides in that meeting. For us, in, in that arch, arch design, that way, that is the self. That's the formation of the self. Then there is a veil, parda, a veil, beyond, behind the veil, there are three subs of women, O oh Ya Allah, sometime presided by Sayyidah Tayyibah Tahira Fatima Zahra. You see, this is the spiritual Qutbul Aqtar. Qutbul Aqtar. This is the spiritual kingdom. My wish is that you are here present to salute him tonight and remember him. He was one of those that presided in this spiritual kingdom. Now, how do you recognize a senior wali and there's a junior wali? How do you recognize? What is the yardstick to check whether he is a senior wali? I mean, it's not our job 
and we don't even have the courage to even do it. But I'm giving you a guideline. When a junior wali of Allah leaves his home, when he leaves his home, then he becomes absent there and he goes to some other place, he is present there. But he is absent here. That's a junior wali. The senior wali of Allah, when he leaves his home, he remains sitting there, but he goes all over the place. Nobody can detect whether he is there or he is here. He is at both places. For example, senior wali, senior, master of the seniors. On the day of Eid, Sayyidina Ghosal Azam radiallahu ta'ala. Before the Eid Salah was approached by his followers and his beloveds and invited him to have breakfast or whatever you can call it after each salah. He said yes to 40 people. <laughs> to how many? <laughs> Bajatul Asrar is the most authentic biography of Sayyidina Ghosal Azam. I translated that in English and I know what I'm speaking about. <laughs> 40 people. He said, yes to him, yes to him, yes to him. He said, yes, I said yes to everybody. Inshallah, at that same spot, the same time, I will visit all 40, inshallah. <laughs> and he did that. How? Because he is the most senior wali in the Ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. his time, Allah has given him the ghosiyat kubra Now, what is ghosiyat kubra We don't have time to speak about it is the highest station of sainthood after a sahaba. Okay? <clears throat> now when the senior when he leaves his home, he's sitting there. If you want to talk about it, I'll give you proof of that. Now at that time, when he leaves his home, Hazrat did not go for Hajj. My Murshid did. You know, everybody praises his Murshid. Whoever he is, everybody praises him. We will give you the praises of the Wali of Allah that presided in the spiritual parliament of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. People went to Hajj and they came back from Hajj and Hazrat was in Bareilly Sharif. Hazrat was in Bareilly Sharif. And uh, the person that came from Hajj, he says, Ways and when did Hazrat come back for, from Hajj? Oh, oh, oh. I said, well, what are you talking about, come back from Hajj? Hazrat made his Eid Salah here, and he attended the Eid Salah in Bareilly, and we were present, and Hazrat never left Bareilly. This man said, what are you talking about? I made tawaf with it. <laughs> I performed salah with him. I saw him in Masjid al Nawi. I met with him. I spoke with him. What are you speaking about? Oh, oh. Then I say, well, you know, whatever you are speaking about, we don't deny that. But the fact is that he did not leave his house. He was here in Bareilly all the time. He said, okay, I want to meet him. They took him and he met with Hazrat. Hazrat said, Well, I can't be on him. Hazrat said, Well, I can't be on him. Hazrat said, I can't be on him. The Kul Sharif is on at the moment in Bareilly Sharif in the Mazar. Very clear. Sounds me. Thank <laughs> you. 
ਗੁਰਸਾਧ ਕੁਲ ਸ਼ਰੀਫ ਨਾਲ ਦਿਨ ਸਲਾਤ ਉਸਲਾਮ ਕੀਤਾ